All right, party people, the results are in. And now, in this video, I'm going to give you an update of my 90 day best cloud hosting competition I've been having with cloud hosting companies. Now, if you're looking for cloud web hosting, which is a more faster version of web hosting, in this video, I'm going to give you my 90 day results of which companies perform the best. Now, I've basically recorded these website statistics for three months, such as speed and uptime. And in this video, I'm going to give you an update of how they performed against each other. So, if you're looking for cloud web hosting, this video is going to basically solve your problem. Now, how did I achieve this test? You know, how did I get this test uh, in order? So, what I did here was I basically monitored each website from each cloud hosting company for three whole months. And I've watched their uptime and their speed as well. And I installed the same size theme on all of these cloud hosting companies to provide a real accurate non-biased result. There's there's no BS in this in this video. It's a very accurate uh, result, and you can see for the results yourself, and you can decide what company you want to go with. So let's go ahead and go to the first company. Now, before I begin, all of the links for all these companies are in the description below. In fact, some of these companies have actually given me exclusive discounts, especially for this video, and I'll talk more about that as we go on. But first off is WP Engine. Now, I'm gonna recommend their their company based off a few factors, based off their speed, their uptime, yet also price, because price can be a very big uh, concern when you're looking for this stuff, because it can be expensive. You know, cloud hosting is not cheap by any means. So I want to make sure that you guys spend money the right place, you know, where, where, it, where it fits for your industry. So WP Engine has been around for quite some time, and they had a very good load time, actually. So their load time, on average, to load this website, which is a six page e-commerce website loaded in around 650 ms which is 0.6 seconds so that is pretty impressive now also when you're looking at these graphs right here you want to see consistency so are these servers consistently performing at around uh, 650 ms and it looks like here it's performing on average of we have 500 ms to 1.5 so that is not that consistent but still it's not something uh, where it's like outside of the we call it standard deviation, which is like two means outside or two two standard two standard deviations from the mean. Sorry, I don't want to talk about statistics and and, all, and calculus, but um, this right here is not that bad. So uh, you can see here how the server has uh, it's a little flimsy. So you know that is a little concerning, but at the same time, uh, that speed is still very slow. I mean, anything under two seconds is ideal for cloud web hosting. Now let's take a look at their uptime. Now go ahead and take a look at their uptime right here. Sorry, those are my other websites. Uh, they had 100% uptime for the last three months. So 84 days, these guys had 100% uptime, which is a very impressive. And you guys can go to these domains and just check them out yourself. You guys can go to the site, go to the products, go to the About Us page and just check it out and see for yourself. So I just want to give you an example of what you can expect from these web hosting companies. Now, do I recommend WP Engine? Yes, I do. I think they're actually one of the faster companies. And these companies are all kind of priced sort of around the same. They kind of all like copied each other. So for the monthly right here, they have an average of $115. Now, I do have an exclusive discount for you in the description below as well. I believe it'll save you like 50% off or something like that for the first three months. So if you do decide to go with WP Engine, uh, you can use my code and you will get a large discount at checkout. So uh, WP Engine, I recommend them. They are pretty good. Next is Name Hero, and Name Hero is one of the most underrated companies on this list. It doesn't really have a lot of publicity, I guess you can say, because these other companies have been around for quite some time. WP Engine, or I'm sorry, Name Hero actually performed really well. Their load time on average was 1.17 seconds. And these results right here are a little bit more consistent. So you can see here how it's consistently loading between 1 to 1.5, which is pretty good. Now, Name Hero actually had some really good uptime as well. They only had five minutes of downtime since, look at this, September 16th all the way to December 16th. So that is really, really good, you know? Now, the thing that stands, the thing that Name Hero stands out more than other companies is their pricing is among the cheapest on this entire list. So I do have a special discount for Name Hero as well in the description below. Um, the owner actually worked out a discount with me for viewers. So if you're looking to try cloud hosting with Name Hero, I would probably recommend going with Name Hero because um, right here you can see that 
you can get the business cloud for only $11.99 a month. And other companies I'm gonna show you, they're gonna charge you somewhere between the lines of $30 to $100 a month. Now, this right here is an exclusive discount. So if you go to their website by yourself, you're not gonna see this discount. Um, and again, I don't know how long this discount I have, but usually they gave me like 39%. So um, if you do wanna try cloud hosting, I'll leave a discount for you all in the description below. You can check it out. But again, I do think it's worth checking out because um, these results right here are really good. And for that price, it's really hard to beat. Next is Liquid Web. And Liquid Web has been around for quite some time. And they actually did really, really well on my previous web hosting competition. In fact, they performed the best as far as cloud hosting. Now, right here, you can see their load time on average is 688 MS, which is, again, 0 .6, 0 0.6 of a second, right? 0 0.7, give or take. And you can see here how their load time is basically... It's consistent, you know. Anything above two standard standard deviations from the mean is is on average. Basically, saying anything, like if it were to go to two seconds, that would be inconsistent from one second because that's one two standard deviations, something like that. And then right here we have our uptime, and they did have some downtime. Unfortunately, they did have forty one minutes of downtime, which uh, I, I hate to say is a little bit longer than most companies on this list. But you know, from November 12th all the way to December 16th, that's still not bad. I mean, that's just a few minutes. It's like a few seconds a day. It's really not a big deal. Um, I do also have an exclusive discount for Liquid Web as well. I believe it gives you 50% for the first three months. So if that's something that you want to check out, go ahead. Now the 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 the, <laughs> the plan that I used right here was the uh, what was it? It was the Manage WordPress right here. Their managed WordPress can be a little pricey, I'm not gonna lie, so it can be just a little expensive, and the one I used was right here, was the Professional, so um, it will charge you around $100 a month, but then again, you do get 100 gigs of storage, which is a lot of storage, to be honest. In fact, most companies don't offer that much. In fact, when we compare that to something like WP Engine right here, uh, they're only giving you 20 gigs of storage, so that is a very big difference, so... At that point, it's kind of hard to say because I don't know what kind of site you're running, but if you're running a site with a lot of images or even video, I would recommend Liquid Web here because they're giving you a lot of storage compared to other uh, companies. So at that point, it's kind of like, hmm, you gotta kind of study uh, the give or take between each company to find out what's good for you and your website. So would I recommend Liquid Web? Yeah, in fact, I would recommend every company on this list except for one, there was one I'm a little neutral about, but we'll talk about them a little bit uh, at the end of the video. Next is Kinsta Hosting. And Kinsta Hosting, again, is really popular. I mean, they're, they're on Elegant Themes blog, and many people uh, talk about them. You've probably seen them on various websites, etc. And they actually had some good load time as well. So their load time on average was around 1.17 seconds. And um, again, that's very, con that's very good. I mean, anything below two seconds for cloud hosting is what you want. I mean, one second, I mean, 0.17 seconds, and then the other one was like 668. You're not gonna see that with the human eye. So for example, if I compare this speed right here with this speed right here, I mean, we're talking about half a second. And again, half a second, you're not gonna see with the human eye. You're just not gonna see it. Like we, we can't, our brains can't function that fast, you know? So uh, even though this does have a longer loading time than other companies, don't take it out of the game yet because you have to look at what else they offer, etc. Now their uptime again was incredible. So these guys also had 0% downtime. So the site never went down. So that's pretty incredible. Now take a look at their pricing and their plans. And there is something that I'm gonna say negative about these guys. Uh, but right here, you can see their $100 a month plan. Um, you know, five WordPress installs, 100,000 visits, 30 gig dig, uh, 30 gig disk this space. And uh, that's really not bad at all. And they also give you free migrations as well. Now this company has a hack free guarantee. So they will guarantee that your site does not get hacked. And that's a pretty big guarantee. You know, they're pretty big on security with Kinsta. So now if you wanna try out Kinsta and you have a very sensitive website, then maybe Kinsta is the right choice for you. Now I wanna go ahead and say something right now. This company does not have phone support. So if you have a problem with your website and you know stuff's breaking or something's not working you can't call them you got to do the live chat and that's not bad but i personally hate filling out tickets i think tickets is really annoying and if i'm going to be paying a hundred dollars a month i kind of want access to a phone you know i want to say hey man if i have a problem i want you to be able to, to pick up my phone because 
I'm paying 100 bucks a month, you know? But then again, you don't need to always have a phone. And I've been there when you have customers who are like, oh, Daryl, this isn't working. This isn't working. And it's their fault. It's like, man, like this is something that you did. They added some CSS or HTML code to their WordPress statement, broke it. You know, that's not, that's not the hosting company's fault, you know? But uh, again, I do recommend Kinsa. I think they're a very solid company. And I think that, um, you know, this right here is it's it's great you know check them out they're good they're good next is flywheel.com and again flywheel.com has sort of the same pricing or i'm sorry get flywheel.com flywheel.com is actually some driving uh school for kids or something like that so make sure you don't go to the wrong websites uh but looking at their monthly pan right here they have around 115 dollars and again a hundred thousand visits 20 gig disk space etc now, when we compare that to Kinsta, Kinsta is giving us 30 gigs as well. Uh, over here, uh, Liquid is giving us 100 gigs. So that can be a very, very big difference comparing the companies. So uh, going back over here, though, let's take a look at the results. Now, I'm just going to give you a screenshot of how they did from my last test, which was 60 days. And unfortunately, I had to delete the domain because it had malware on it. But uh, the server response time was 0.6 seconds and their average load time was 1.18 seconds. I do actually have screenshots as well. So this was the screenshot that I took before the site actually went down, but you can see right here how on average Flywheel was performing at 1.24 seconds, which is still very good. I mean, that's faster than most of these other companies. You can see here how all these companies right here performed at four seconds. Don't go with InMotion and for the love of God, don't go with HostGator. If you're using HostGator and you're watching this video, I don't know. Just uh, I don't know. Go get your money back. Go get go get your money back, and then uh, click on the links. You know. So, uh, but then again, you know, uh, Flywheel performed really, really good. They performed neck and neck right here with Kinsta. You can see uh, Kinsta and Flywheel performing really, really neck and neck. So, if you're gonna ask me, what I recommend? Um, you know, what I recommend? Uh, Flywheel, absolutely. Now they do have phone support as well, but that is only for their agency plan. So if you're the person like me who wants phone support, you'll need to get the agency plan. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount for Flywheel, so you'll have to pay the regular price that you get with the website. But a lot of people love Flywheel. I mean, they offer free migrations as well. So if you wanna check out Flywheel, go ahead and go for it. And lastly is Cloudways. Now, Cloudways, um, again, they're another cloud hosting company. Now, this company is a little different than the other ones because you can actually host your website on various platforms. So you can host it on the Google Cloud, you can host it on Vulture, you can host it on Amazon, AWS, and they'll basically manage everything for you. Now, that's pretty convenient because, you know, as someone that owns a business, you don't really care about web hosting. It's not your business. It's like, you know, I gotta make money, you do this, you know? But here you can host it on DigitalOcean, Google Cloud, Amazon, AWS, uh, Vulture as well. Now, the problem with this company that I think is that they're just too expensive, but again, that's only because they're using other platforms. So let's say, for instance, you want to host it on Amazon AWS. You can see right here, they'll charge you anywhere between $36 a month all the way to $274 a month. Now, personally, you'd be better off just going to the website directly and doing it. However, uh, it's not the easiest for beginners. So if you're a complete beginner and you want cloud hosting on Amazon AWS, you're probably not gonna know how to do it and you'll have to hire a developer. So this company kind of bridges the gap, you know, and Amazon AWS is fast. Now, my test was on the Google Cloud. Personally, I think you can get better results with Amazon AWS and maybe even Vulture, but uh, Google Cloud, that's the one I went my test on. And let me show you the results right here. So they loaded at around 1.48 seconds, which is a second and a half which is the longest out of all the companies on this list or the slowest company on this list. Their server response time was 0 0.80. Now, that's not really that's not really bad. I mean, uh, a second and a half is not that bad, but um, personally, I'm neutral about this company because looking at these other companies right here, like Kinsa, Liquid Web, uh, Name Hero, and also WP Engine, um, you'll get a little bit better results than going with cloud Cloudways. And that's just my personal opinion. Uh, I bet people have great experiences with Cloudways. In fact, when I say that this company's slower, I mean, 
again, 0.48 seconds between one second, you're not going to see that with the human eye. You're not going to see 0 0.40 seconds with the eye. Like, oh, look, that took 4, 0.40 seconds. Like, you're not going to see that. So every company on this list is good. And it's really up to you to decide which one you would like to go with. Personally, I think the best value right here is going to have to be Name Hero because um, they've just given me such a massive discount. And right now I have 70% off, but my standard discount is around 39%, which is still very good. And I mean, for $11 a month for those results, competing against companies that are charging you $100 a month, it's really hard for me to recommend these other companies. But then again, now this discount is only available, I think for a limited time, I don't really know, but now the, my my usual discount is 39%, so I, or 38%, so I just wanna make that clear, because if these prices change in a few months, I'm just trying to, I don't want you guys to think I'm like, you gotta buy it now, dude, you know, because I've seen those guys, I don't like them, but uh, we'll see what they do, you know? Now, that right there is for only for one month. If you go for something like one year, or two years, or three years, I mean, the price drastically drops. So uh, for this video, if you're looking for cloud web hosting, I'm gonna recommend Name Hero, not because of their load time, uh, because of their downtime isn't bad whatsoever. And also they had just uh, the cheapest rates out there compared to all these other hosting companies. I mean, I'm just being real, <laughs> you know, like I know you wanna save money, right? And I'm just being real. So uh, I do have a discount uh, for this company exclusive. I also have it for WP Engine as well. So if you don't wanna go with Name Hero, if you don't trust them, and I know, you know, that's a big factor, you know, you like the way WP Engine works, etc. cetera. Uh, I would recommend WP Engine probably second here because again, you do get a good amount of, um, you do get a good amount of stuff. You get a good amount of space. Uh, they have great customer support and you can call them anytime. And I would also uh, recommend as a second, third option, uh, WP, I'm sorry, Liquid Web because the results are fantastic. I mean, the load time is great. Their prices are actually cheaper because I do have a discount that'll give you a discount for three months. And um, the downtime was not that bad. I mean, 41 minutes, it's, it's bad, it's bad. But then again, it's a lot cheaper than other companies like Kinsta where you're gonna have to pay uh, for 100, let's see right here, for 100 gigs, you're gonna pay $600 a month, and with Liquid Web, you're only gonna pay 100. So at that point, if you are running a lot of traffic, I would consider those three companies at the top, and then I'd recommend Kinsta, Flywheel, and then Cloudways last. Now, uh, that's just my opinion, so you don't have to do what I'm saying, I'm just giving you the tools to say, all right, this is, you know, this is the options right here, this is the pricing differences and stuff like that. Um, they do have that hack free guarantee you know that's also something to consider as well so do your homework find out what you want to do but again i hope this test was helpful uh this test this test took three months for me to watch their uptime and their performance as well and i did spend a lot of money on this test if you want to see my original test right here uh, i actually tested a uh, shared hosting accounts as well i tested like 15 companies so um, if you want to check that test out i'll leave that in the description below but again i hope this video is helpful hopefully by now you know which cloud hosting is good for you whether it's wp engine whether it's kinsta flywheel liquid web cloudways or name hero so again i hope this video is helpful my name is daryl wilson and i will see you all in the next video take care guys